Hello. This video is going to show you how to force copy a Google Doc with keeping the comments. So I made an interactive Google Doc about Mesopotamia, and I've, I, and I've inserted different activities for the students to do to interact with the document, interact with the text. So I highlighted directions here and then put in a voice comment um, so the students would click on this to listen to the voice comment. For this activity, please read the overview and so they can get voice directions from me as the teacher. Then as they come down, they'll see another one here. They can click on it. There's a question and they just click in the text box in order to type their answer and then they hit reply. Okay but I'm going to delete that one out, yes, so that um, when I force copy this, the comments stay and not the responses. But that's what the students will do. They'll interact with all the comments that I have um, added in throughout. Here's one to watch a video. Um, at the very end, I put in one to um, just with a YouTube video linked right here in the comment, and then some questions right here that weren't in the comments area. So just to make this Google Doc um, interactive and that the questions stick out because they're over in the right column for the student that they can answer it while looking at the text. So from here, what I will do is normally when you force copy um, a Google Doc, you highlight this copy control C and then you can come over to wherever you're going to link it for the students. Control V to paste it, but you backspace to the edit and normally you put in copy. Okay? But if I do that and I make this copy, it does not include the comments with it and it's just the document. So all those interactivity items that I put in there are no longer available to the student. So instead of doing that, what you do is you still paste the same one in there and you still backspace to the slash before the edit. But this time you're going to type in copy, question mark, copy, capital C, comments equals true. And that capital C right there is very important. If you don't make it capital, it won't work. And then you press enter. You make a copy just like you normally would with the uh, force copy option. But this time, because we added the copy comments option in there, now your students will get the copy with the copied comments. It even says cop comments have been copied from the original document. Now each student will have their own copy of the doc plus the comments in there so that they can come through and like I showed you before, click on the comment and add their response in here and then select reply. So this makes the document interactive and it focuses with those questions there while they're going through the reading so they don't have to flip back and forth to the end of the section or whatever they're using to answer questions on.